Okay, so I've had a few questions about how I routed the smoke system uh, into the reservoir and then up here into um, the wind tunnel itself. So rather than go through and try and explain it uh, in the comments, I figured I'd just go ahead and shoot this quick video. Uh, you can see that um, the wind tunnel <laughs> sometimes doubles as foam storage. Uh, in between cuts, so uh, that's why it's all covered in foam here. So basically this is my smoke machine that you probably saw in the last video. And it has a outlet port here uh, that atomizes the, the smoke coming out for the fog. And what I do is I set that in front of this reservoir. Now this reservoir um, has this large opening here and this is a dust port that I had for a uh, dust collection system. So basically it's just a slide gate and it's a four inch opening. So when I open that I can aim that directly into that large four inch opening and it doesn't touch anything, it doesn't constrain the flow at all. Um, it doesn't seal great but it, it works well enough for what I need. This is actually sealed off inside and what happens is I'll run the smoke and fill this container up. This is an 18 gallon uh, container that I got from Home Depot and I seal the top. It's got some weather stripping around the underside of the lid so it seals off. I'll fill it with this and when I start to see the smoke fog backing back out of the, the reservoir, what I do is I just close that gate and shut the fog machine off. Now what that does is it goes inside here and you can see, maybe, let me just move this camera out of here. So. What happens is I have an outlet pipe right here. So this pipe comes out of the tub, up the side, and down in through the top. And then you'll see that that feeds into the manifold here to the smoke rake. All right, and that's, that's basically how I flow it. If we look on the other side here, let's roll this back over, you'll see um, there's the smoke machine going into the, the sluice gate there, slide gate. And what I have, this is a, a 12 volt uh, adjustable speed fan, uh, just a muffin fan, it's not very strong. Uh, comes up here, I've got my smoke button and then this is the variable speed for that fan so uh, basically the way this works is I shut this fan down open the sluice gate push the smoke button fill the reservoir with smoke as soon as it starts backing out okay I let off the button come down here shut this gate again and then turn the fan back up. And what this fan does is it pressurizes this tank, this reservoir, and forces the smoke out through the tube I just showed you on the back, right there, and then down inside to the rake. And, you know, I, I found that I can get, in not a long period of time, um, depending on how strong my flow is, inside how high I have the fan turned up and that's that's adjusted back here but how long how how fast that uh, air flowing through really the faster the air the more smoke uh, it pulls out and it, it pulls a certain amount of uh, smoke out of the system on its own but it really the smoke wasn't dark enough for what I was looking for um, it made it hard to see uh, made it really hard to video so that's why I put this fan to kind of pressurize it and again there's probably better ways to do it if I had it to do over again it might be something uh, that was a little tighter sealed so that it was I could pressurize it better 
uh, this fan isn't very strong and obviously um, you know there's there's holes all over the place so the you know smoke gets out but uh, this it works for what I need so if I'm just running slow visualizations you know I can run this anywhere from 20 30 seconds up to a minute before I need to reflow um, the fog again and it's you know it sounds like a pain but after a while you get used to the steps and it goes pretty quickly um, that's that's pretty much it I hope that answers uh, questions that you guys had uh, if you have any other questions go ahead and put them in the comments and I will try and do a uh, another quick video just to show you uh, like I said this is uh, in my shop here and in between cuts it's a it's a seems to be a pretty decent place to store uh, all of the, the foam that's getting ready to be cut so that's it and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one